Hello everyone. Myself, Uma Prashant, Superintendent of Police, working for Anti-Corruption Bureau, situated in Bangalore. So today, I think all of I'm. I would like to say that I'm very pleased to address the young college-going girls who are the future of the country and who have been taken up this course, taken an initiative to take up this course itself is like you want to do something, you have decided to do something for you. So I would once again congratulate you for taking this course and wish you all the best. Today I would like to deliver my lecture on few of the topics which you have already been undergone training on those topics like creating legal awareness about the rights of the women or the legal assistance available to them, the problems which are, are the, faced by them and the crimes against the women, various legal provisions and uh, what are the actions that can be taken to address those challenges as well. As these topics are interconnected and cannot be dealt separately, I would be talking about like in detail, not in part wise, it will be addressed like that only. And you know, we being girls for whatever may be the reasons, I am talking about those problems for we as a girl, what you are doing, uh, various problems which we are facing. We may like irrespective of the age, we are facing problems since before the birth till the end. Maybe before the birth, I mean to say, I am talking about the pre-birth. You talk about the female poetry side, infancy, childhood, various problems faced by the child, like uh, sexual harassment or kidnapping of the minor girls, all such problems. That is also the stage. And the infancy, uh, girlhood, adulthood, when you are going to the, that means, I mean, when you attain maturity, that is after 18 years, when you are going to the school, Colleges are going for working as a work as a working woman. What you can, what are the problems you are facing? Are you domestically working or as a wife? What are the problems you are facing? And the elderly, these are the problems at various stages. It, I would like to. That's what I mean to say that, irrespective of the age, we are facing various problems. So. We must, everybody knows the fact that you also know, I feel and I hope many of the problems faced by women are the atrocities you take or the exploitation against the women are more from the people whom we know. There may be your relations or your like family members, friends or the friends of friend and then the people whom you not known. So, you, we feel more bad when these problems are created by the people whom we know. Because we, they will take this kind of people who, why we are facing more problems from the people whom we know means, we become very intimate to them. We are like, uh, our response would be like, as we know, we don't hesitate to be in touch with them or to act in whatever the way we want because we trust them being knowing them. So they are misusing the trustness. That's where the problem comes. They may, then comes the problems of coercion, fraud, or cheating you, or impersonating you. It's very easy for them to uh, cheat the teenagers in the name of love. They are making love or to get some jobs. These are the way they can cheat you, the known persons, are like sexually harassing them unknowingly. They don't be knowing. Once they become close, they may not be knowing it. Like they will misuse this way also. So for any problem, it various the constitutes of pro various elements of crime are there. If if you take any crime, you take a rape, or you take uh, domestic harassment, or dowry death, or for whatever the problem it may be, it has got five major constituents. For any crime, there must be some motive or intention. Motive means for what is the main purpose of that person who is committing that crime. If a thief is stealing that thing, his main money is his main intention. At the same time, then comes the after the after having that motive or intention, he will prepare for that crime. He will be preparing. I mean to say, as I gave the example of theft, 
okay to go to that house how he has to be nobody should be there he will reiki that house when he can go all such things and one more thing i would like to say even attempt to commit crime itself is a crime if he is attempting itself he can also be punished under the various provisions of the ipc or he may attempt or he may succeed in that he may not still he will be punished finally after doing all the uh, what is the motive will be there then uh, preparation will be there attempt will be there then commission of the offense commission of the offense will complete the cycle of the crime that's what i just wanted to let you know you being the common man these are the major ingredients while looking into any crime we look into it so if i want to if you want me to just brief regarding the various legal provisions under which the police deal about these various crimes are the indian penal code this is the mother of all the other legislations and this is also the substantial law along with it we also uh, deal with the criminal procedure code and the indian evidence act as per the indian penal code you may be aware of various crimes which you are seeing around uh, which we are coming across around us these are given various defined under various provisions what is this definitions what what is the amount of punishment so as i was going through i just if you want me to tell the uh, like uh, statistics of that crime compared to 2019 and 20 the percentage of crime against women is increased by 7% and the against the crimes against the children is increased by 4% among that mode of the crimes is cruelty against women that is torture physical torture by husband or the known person will take the first place and if he is, it is categorized then crime against the modesty of the woman and then kidnapping and abduction of women and rape these constitute the major four modes of crime the same way these are provision given under the ipc legal provision is given so if you take for example outraging the modesty of the woman is like causing annoyance to her by obscene acts in public places are singing reciting or uttering any obscene songs or words which makes her uncomfortable that itself amounts to crime it can be reported to the nearby police station or over the phone or various modes are there wrongful restraining or constrainment of the woman from restricting her freedom and liberty to do other crimes are related to sexual harassment sexual harassment constitute physical contacts and other forms of crimes includes the sexual harassment this kind of problems are such that women are not readily free to come to the police station and to express these problems that they are sexually harassed because there comes various factors like how the society treats after that what is their image in the society what is their family takes so though she has been sexually harassed also many women are not willing to come on their own to the uh, police stations so that's why we are making the police stations very women friendly and even more women are also been recruited and helplines and desks are also especially made for them so that we are we are also very responsibly and responsibly taking the complaints and counseling them when they come to them and also briefing them the legal rights and the aid which are available to them the more than anything else for the sexual harassment problem first we need to counsel them and talk to them and to making them comfortable is very important so in this comes various problems like what all the what it constitute exactly is physical contact and advance involving unwelcome and explicit sexual overtures demand or request for sexual favors even showing pornography against the will and making sexually colored remarks also comes under this sexual harassment i mean to say mere sign or advance making any advances which amounts to making her uncomfortable itself will amounts to the sexual um, um, sexual harassment voyeurism in the other form it is also a form of crime it's like it is the 
affecting the privacy of women. For example, she may be doing her private acts or she may be changing her drugs. If any person intentionally sees her to tell it in a simple words, that also amounts to crime. Then stalking is another, like all of us, this is the world of digital era, technological era and we are making use of various digital devices and mobiles, basically mobiles. As such, so these cyber crime, the number of cyber crimes have also been increasing. Uh, it's, uh, would like to say that it is not just the education or illiterate or the uh, illiterate, educated or not literate because of this uh, uh, cyber era, even they are more victimized by using this more in the sense, even I was hearing one of my four friends friend who has done double graduate and she was already through the online she consult, contact someone and like they comes the proposal and all but later she comes to know that he wants to teach cheated him because through him she has lost so much of money at the same time another lady with the thinking that she may get so much of money she transfers this amount of money we will get the prize we will if you transfer this amount of money you will get the prize and all such kinds of crimes it's mainly not like women only that problem is mainly targeting the woman here they know that if you are mentally weak or they will test you whether you have that knowledge technological knowledge and all so you should be very careful while using the social media with whom you are revealing your privacy or your private photos or your uh, before uploading it. Be careful while using and use it judiciously and responsibly. Other problems are like kidnapping and abduction of the minor girls are the major, procuring the minor girls, trafficking, illegal trafficking, selling or buying minor for the purpose of prostitution, unlawful and compulsory labor and sexual intercourse by a person in authority. It's like problem faced by the women at working places. They are unwillingly, they are forced to do these things that itself amounts to commission of crime. Other forms comes cheating. Cheating, you may be cheated even when you are a girl at the college also, as a domestic, uh, the wife, as a domestically, when you were even at home also. So there may be various modes of cheating you. Cheating is also, you should be very careful while dealing with any other person with what intention he is talking to you or with what intention he is uh, responding to you. All such things, you please take care of that. And offenses relating to marriages uh, constitutes domestic violence against the woman, mental or uh, physical torture for the woman and then dowry harassment, dowry deaths and other forms are like criminal intimidation, causing miscarriage. I am just quoting what all I could tell with this time. So there may be various other forms which may not, I have not covered. So please, the, uh, please aware of various crimes which are happening in and around and when it may not be you yourself who are the victim of that crime even someone else around you is being victimized or is being targeted please help them or come forward to give the complaints or whichever the way you can be helpful because if we can do that at the individual level only we can bring some changes at the larger level along with these various sections under ipc other special legislations have also been enacted especially to protect the women from these kinds of crimes. I would like to uh, talk, uh, tell about the immoral prevention of Immoral Trafficking Act, Do Dowry Prohibition Act which takes care of the harassment for dowry and the dowry deaths. Whenever women is be not uh, represented indecently in various you take advertisement, cinema or whichever the public media this is comes under the indecent representation of women prohibition act and after marriage if she has been physically and even mental torture by the husband god whom are his relatives whomsoever she can file a complaint under domestic violence act and i am talking about the sexual harassment for those women who are working for those are dealt under sexual harassment of women at working places as per this law 
sexual prevention of sexual harassment committee has been constituted at the working places even in the colleges also constituted even the anti ragging committees are also constituted you are i hope you all are aware of it be aware of that and come forward to give the complaints and let others also help be, i mean to say let us be response all of us be responsible and prevention of children from sexual offences act is one of the major crime i can say crime against the humanity because irrespective of the age you take maybe 3 months or even if you are raping a elderly person then we should think what kind of human mentality we have got so after the uh, nirbhaya case in delhi the criminal law ordinance amendment bill act has been amended for those crimes like pokso or rape other sexual harassment the punishment is like up to now death punishment i would like to say then to deal with the marry child marriages prevention of child marriages act is there uh, along with ipc special legislations various schemes have also been constituted from time to time from the state and the central government to protect the women and to empower women so along with these uh, problems other problems which are even more sensitive and more cruel i can say that uh, like throwing acid on women if they have some grudges or if their women is not heeding to their wishes or wills and fancies we have seen various uh, incidents already i need not tell that though the punishment is very stringent and uh, now the government has made strictly that uh, acid is not available freely in all the medical shops or the shops wherever it may be still we are seeing the cases that shows the reality of the man so we should be very careful with dealing with whom so ever you are and one more even major crime you may not be aware of it which is still existing in the society is like breast ironing it's like when the girls attains puberty in order to hide their beauty or in order not to make them look beautiful they are ironing their breast this i can say even more worst form of crime and burning the women for dowry harassing them to death are committing suicide because of dowry these are all very human in human which are crimes against the society i can say which are at the cost of life and liberty of the women so we are all you are aware of dating which has been more misused by the men because girls once when they are in the teenagers they are still not able to decide what is good or bad in their life so as they are teenagers they may not be still in that mood only college going and all and freely go with the, the boys maybe some other reason also they may be with the thinking that they are friends only they may go but after that they they are also been sexually harassed in one or the other form date rape and it's also called acquittance rape that means giving some drugs unknowingly to the girl with whom they are going and they will be misused and when she gets up she will not be knowing what she has done in that night only in some cases she has come to know that when she has attained pregnancy only something bad has happened so you should be very careful with these kinds of crimes even though we marry it is not the right of the husband to be with you in whatever the way he wants and forceful uh, having a force forcing a wife to have sexual intercourse it's also considered as a rape even one more cruelty is you must have heard about honor killing when the daughter of someone's marriage to intercaste boy or inter religion or a lowest strata or for whatsoever the reason it may be the parents may think it's against their dignity so they kill their daughter itself maybe both the daughter and the his whomsoever she marries also we are still also we are seeing various cases reported as honor killing this is uh, i feel it is a uh, dishonoring the society as well and gang rape even more cruel when uh, so many persons attacking the woman when she is alone or when she is alone at home or going uh, outside we have heard of such cases 
but still that cases though the stringent action has been taken and the, even the judiciary has given the punishment these rates are still the, there we are meant to say that the attitude and the society perceptions of the society towards the women needs to be changed if we can bring certain changes at the socialization of the men are even making them more sensitive towards the problems of the women how to respect from the family stage itself we can make them how they can behave with the women these problems can be even taken care well i feel and forcing them to marry against their will forced pregnancy forced abortion forced prostitution these are the other forms of crime which are the against the safety liberty or the freedom of a woman so i just spoke about the various problems what are the legal provisions are there what are the various uh, sections which to deal under and uh, and these problems are there uh, as i was telling the problems were there in the post olden days also problems are there in present also but the mode of the problems has been changed irrespective of technologically we are got so much developed or so much educated even we are seeing the what to say cruelty of the crimes that means human mind human mind is not changed so main the actions i can say prevention is better than cure so let us be calm, uh, cautious that's why you are giving the skill developmental course what all the how you you can develop the self defense how you can be cautious how you can be proactive if some problems comes how you can like uh, call helpline numbers or women helpline number is there 10 child helpline number 1098 women helpline number 1091 and now various uh, uh, chennamma pade for the women only various squads have been constituted to attend to the problem immediately because the golden hour is very important within that prescribed time what we have done so even when you come to the police station we are trying our level best help the victim or to sensitize them being responsive giving them a legal aid legal counseling or whatever the financial help is there so for these crimes which are against the women i feel inclusive approach is more important than any other so for any problem inclusive approach is very important so in order to address the various challenges or the faced by women or the crimes against the women it is the responsibility of the government or various agents of the government like police and it will also judiciary ngos civil society media other uh, health organizations so all of us let us be collaborative and coordinate with each other to face these challenges in a better way and at the same time i always believe that education is empowerment that's why many scholars say that if you educate one woman it's like educating the generation that's why always is called woman is the first mother is the first teacher so we are getting education all you be aware of what our rights and duties and responsibilities that's what vivekananda says awake aware and stop not until you reach your goals now you have taken a step that you want to do something new or something different that's why you have taken a decision to come to this uh, uh, what is workshop itself so you decide what you want to become and determination and willingness will take to the way whichever you want to achieve the goals which you have wish you all the best and once again i would like to thank all of the members of this who have organized this workshop giving me an opportunity to express my uh, views on the various challenges faced by women thank you one and all